So there's no better way to start a new year than to give something away or to receive something free, which is even better, I suppose. And I'm going to give away, I'm going to create, a, I've created a, a bunch of lower thirds and buttons and I'm going to give those away to you right now. And this, I'm just going to demo the buttons first and then we'll talk about where you put them. So here's the demo of the buttons. The first one is blue buttons. Um, and these are not editable, but they are sort of HD, they slide in, you get a nice lens flare down the side, and they say various things, but they're just there in FCPX for you to do, um, for you to use at, at, at your leisure. And they do look nice, and uh, like I say, they are um, really sharp. Next we move on to this gold button, and it's editable, it flies into the screen like this, and um, it's sort of a more of a typical lower third if you like. Then we've got a speech bubble that you can put anywhere on the screen or you can just leave it as a lower third and again this is editable and then we've got the more um, more common sort of lower thirds again which are editable but they won't be there because you won't already have them because I've created these myself. Um, but yeah, and throughout the year, I will just keep adding to these um, to these giveaways. So um, so yeah, let's have a look at where you're going to put them and the folder structures that you need to um, that you need to create if you haven't got Motion Apple Motion Five. Um, yeah, as long as you're FCPX, you're, you're, you're cool in the game. So yeah, let's. Listen. So from your desktop screen, if you press Command N, it opens a new Finder window for you, and Basically, all you want to do is probably open it like this with this view with all my files highlighted here on the left hand side. You just want to go to devices and highlight your whatever your main device, your main hard drive is called. And if you haven't got this view, let me show you how I've got this view. Um, this little task wheel here, click the arrow button, go to arrange by, and I've just got kind, arrange by kind highlighted. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my second from the left view to show items as icons in a list, in a list, in columns or with cover flow. So that's the way I'm going to click that and that's the way I'm going to do. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's easy to navigate and, e sorry, easy to navigate and easy, easy for you to see. Visual, it's a visual thing. So I'm then going to click my Macintosh, double click at the top. And then I'm going to click users. All these files will be there already. And I'm going to click the user, the main user, which should be you. Um, and then I'm going to click movies. Now, you will have various files in here. You might not have all these. Some might be hidden. I don't know. But what you do need, the file that you do need, so you're going to need to create this folder if you haven't already got it in movies. And you will probably need to put your password protection if you've got it protected. That is. Um, so we want to create motion templates. And the way it's written is motion with a capital M space, then a capital T to start off the word templates. Right, so have a look as how I've got it written there. That's how it needs to be written. I'm going to open up that. If you haven't already got it, that is. If you already got it, you don't need to create it. Within motion templates, these are the, the folders that I'm going to want you to create if you're going to want to download more stuff from me throughout the year because these are the things that I'm going to make. Firstly, effects with a capital E. Then we're going to need to create a folder called generators. Then with a capital G, then we're going to need to create a folder called Titles with a capital T, then a folder called Transitions, again with a capital T. And if you're going to want to download more stuff from me throughout the year, that's where you're going to have to put these um, these creations within within FCPX folder structure, or as here, Motion folder structure. Okay, so for these ones, what we're going to open, it's they are titles, and we're going to open up our titles. And in there, at the moment, all I've got is a, um, a third-party sort of generator called RGB House, and it's a tilt shift blur. I've done a video on it a long time ago, but yeah. So um, we open up our titles, and with the um, with the folder that you're going to download from the link in the description, it's going to be called 13th Design. So you're going to need to drag it from your downloads to your desktop. Then. From your desktop, I've just got it here on my desktop, look, I'm just move this over, here on my desktop, I'm just going to simply drag it into the titles, drag and drop it, so the titles is highlighted, drag it into the titles there, 13th design, and then you will have new folder structures within FCPX. It's important, I should have mentioned this at the start, I will put an annotation on the screen, that FCPX is closed for the duration until we're going to... Um, we're going to have a look at them later. So, we can minimise all those within the titles. And if you need to go back over it, if you're unsure, just please rewind the video and just go back over it. And we'll have a look over in FCPX right now. Okay, so we're over in FCPX. Open up FCPX. 
And um, what we're going to want to do is go to our effects browser and select our titles. In here, I've just got a, a blank generator, black background generator. So we're going to go to titles. Um, and you get another pop-up box open up and you will notice now in our headers we've got a 13th design um, header so I'm going to select that header and in here we've simply got our blue buttons our gold button our chat icon and our rectangle and the ones that are editable you just edit them as you would with any other title for the buttons all you simply do is drag them into your timeline above your main timeline where you want them and um, yeah just drag them and if you make them shorter they will come in quicker obviously um, and if you make them longer they will come in slower or they will stay there for longer so it is um, it is really that simple and like I said with the editable ones let me just get rid of that um, and use this lower third here which is really simple just play it through and you will edit it as you would with any other lower third so you can just edit it in this way and again you can lengthen it and shorten it to, um, to speed it up or slow it down as the case may be so yeah that's the um, that's the first giveaway of 2014 hope you enjoy the video if you'd like anything requested please leave it in the comments below um, likewise don't forget to come back and watch some more videos for some more free stuff thanks a lot for your support catch you all later